Jenny P. asks, I saw some of your interviews with the elderly on YouTube. Those are hilarious. Do you have any funny stories about crazy older relatives? No, I don't really have any stories about me and the elderly, mostly because the elderly try and steer clear of me on most occasions. We actually have to pay them to be on the show, and then as soon as we yell cut, they scramble, I mean, as fast as they can scramble away from me. Cassie asks, Loved your book, My Horizontal Life, A Collection of One Night Stands. So funny. How did your parents react when you published it? Uh, well, Cassie, my parents were very surprised when I published the book because they've been hearing about my stories my whole life. Not my one night stand stories, that didn't start till like, you know, the fourth or fifth grade, but they weren't surprised. I mean, they've known me my whole life, so they were just like, great, now we have something in print so that nobody can ever pretend that you weren't a very bad girl. Fern44 asks, you've interviewed many different kinds of guests on your show. What is the most interesting interview you've ever done? Well, I think the most interesting interviews are the ones with people who actually tell you something that you didn't know before they were on the show. Like, you know, somebody who tells you something about their sordid, like, drug past or something about they were married or how they got a job and, you know, something that most people don't know about is what I like. So any guest that really reveals something, not Scott Bayo. And, and since we're interviewing you, do you have any things that you want to tell us that you've never told anyone before? I'm... Asian. Ali XOXO asks, you have a funny and competitive relationship with your sister Kelly, played by Jenny McCarthy on In the Motherhood. Do you have any siblings in real life? And if so, do you get along any better with them than you do with Kelly on the show? I have five brothers and sisters and I'm the youngest of six kids and we get along great, mostly because I constantly take them to amazing places and on vacations. So they have to be nice to me or they just get breakfast. No breakfast, lunch, and then a buffet for dinner. GG65 asks, what is it like working with Jenny and Leah? So GG65, Leah and Jenny are like, okay. I mean, Leah's really, she sleeps a lot. Like it's almost becoming a problem. So a lot of times we'll get here and they'll be like, Leah has to take another nap. And then like six to seven hours later, we'll be ready to go. And then Jenny's constantly crying. So between the two of them, it's like, mm, you don't know if it's gonna be up, down. And I'm on a lot of different pills and medications. So it's just pretty hairy. Lauren Whisk asks, you support charities and causes in a variety of ways. Perhaps your most original effort was auctioning off your toaster on eBay and giving away the proceeds. Where did you get that idea? Well, Lauren Whisk, I got that idea when I walked into our kitchen and somebody was bitching about the toaster not working. And I said, why do we still have a toaster that doesn't work for 30 people? And then I sent out my, assist my assistant to get two toasters, which probably totaled $100. I'm working at E, keep in mind, okay? So, and then I took that toaster, I said, we should do something with this toaster, we should do something good. And then I told Chewy to sign it, and I signed it, and I just came up with the idea, and then we were able to donate like $600 to a little person's charity of Chewy's choice. I'm always thinking.